So the word share in SharePoint means that the main reason for putting documents into SharePoint is to be able to not only manage those documents, but share those documents and collaborate on those documents in real time. That's one of the best things about SharePoint. So when we choose a document, for example, we learned in an earlier video that we can open it in a browser or we can open it in the desktop version of Word or Excel or whatever application it happens to be. And the good thing about it is that you don't lock that document when you have it open. It means that others can also click that document and open in a browser and open an app. And you can literally be collaborating and both working and co-authoring that document at the same time in real time. You may even see little flashes of where the other person is actually making changes to the document, which is quite cool. But there are times when um, collaboration is great, but there are times when you want to exclusively work on a file and, and be sure that no one else is editing it. So in that case, you actually want to download the file and work on it. And, and perhaps you need to work on it offline because you're traveling and, and you won't have any Wi-Fi or any network access. So to download the document, is to generate another copy, a duplicate of that document, downloaded and on your machine. If you want to download a file, say I want to download this file, I might just go for the Show Actions button and there's the download option there. But also be aware that you could right click and you could choose download there. But also be aware that there's a download button at the top here. Now, if I click the download button, what eventually happens is it asks me where I want to put it. So maybe I just want to put it on my desktop and save that. And down the bottom here, you'll see that it's downloaded the file. Now, when I click this option, I can open the folder that has got the file in it, or I can open the file, or I could tell it to always open files of this type, always open Word documents straight up whenever I download them. So you have that ability as well. So I'm just going to ask it to open it. And I'll just bring it into view. Now sometimes you end up with a little yellow banner that says that be careful protected view. And so if you do end up with a protected view message, you'll see there's an enable editing button. So just click that. Now all the Office products, whether that be Word, Excel or PowerPoint, all have some sort of commenting system embedded in them. And so I may want to add some comments to this Word document, for example. Now, um, legend has it that Ethiopia is the motherland of the coffee plant. Maybe I'll select this here. I'll go to review. I'll choose new comment because I want to add a new comment. Or I'll right click and I'll choose the option to add a new comment, which is right at the bottom here. Or if you're looking for a shortcut key, the shortcut key is Control-Alt-M. So maybe I'll go Control-Alt-M and that will bring up the comment um, box. Here I'll say that maybe um, reconsider um, um, reconsider using a different phrase, for example. And I'll just post that. And so that comment is posted. I can add another comment, for example. Let me get rid of this. Um, first copy grown region. Maybe I put a comment here, insert comment, um, is this true? And I'll post that as well. And so basically what will happen is somebody will come along and they will react to these comments. You can hide the comments just by hitting the show comments button. Show hide, that's on the review tab. If you hide them, you see these little symbols here. And if you click it, it'll go to the comment. So it's easy to bring it up. Here, the person can reply and say, um, this phrase is fit for purpose. Control enter to post it. And yes, it is. Control enter. I could, if I wanted to, hit these dots and actually delete the comment because it's done. Or I could resolve it, which means it stays here for future reference but it's dim and it's ticked, um, which implies that it has been resolved and even says resolved at the top. And I have the option to then delete that or undo it and reopen it. 
So that's the comments feature in Word. So I'll then close the document and it will have automatically saved it straight back to the SharePoint site. In fact, let's just do this again. I'm just going to um, download it. No, it won't have saved it to the SharePoint site because we downloaded it. It's gone to a particular location. So this location here will have been updated on the desktop. So it hasn't necessarily, it hasn't gone back to the SharePoint and updated. You have downloaded it. So you would have to upload it again. So let's say I delete this file now, delete and delete. And I now want to upload the latest version. So I go to upload files and I'll go and grab from my desktop that African growing regions file and open it. And so it uploads the file back in. So just be aware of that as well, that when you download it, you are creating a duplicate. Now, what if it's an Excel file and you want to add comments to it? I'm just going to click on budget, the tick box. I'm going to download budget. I'm going to put it on my desktop, save it to there. And now I'm going to open up this particular file. And to add some comments, again, you head to the review tab. So maybe I click here and I go review and there's new comment. Unfortunately, the shortcut key control alt M only works in Word and PowerPoint. It doesn't work in Excel. So I'm going to right click the cell and I'm going to choose new comment or choose the new comment button on the review tab, whichever you prefer and start a conversation. Um, is this figure correct? Question mark and control enter to post it. The person again can reply. Again, you can delete the thread, resolve the thread, but that's how you add the comments. You can show comments or you can hide comments. That's that button, similar to Word. Show it and hide it. Then I, now that auto save feature there means that the changes I've made to this file have automatically saved to the desktop copy of this file but it has not automatically saved to the SharePoint copy of the file. So if I want to now upload that file in SharePoint, I would probably just go straight to um, unselecting that document, upload files. I'll go to my desktop and choose the budget. It'll recognize there's already a file called budget on the site. See, it says it's uploading here. It'll recognize there's already one here. Do you want to keep both of them or do you want to replace it? I'm going to replace it. I want to replace the SharePoint copy of the file with the updated desktop copy of the file. So it replaces it, finishes uploading it, and so it tells me it's a few seconds old and now it's been uploaded. So those are comments in Word and comments in Excel, but what about PowerPoint? Here I have a PowerPoint file, so I'm going to click this option here. I want to download it. And so it asked me, where do I want to download it to? And I want to download it to the desktop. Now there's already a copy of it, an old copy of it on the desktop. So when I save it, it will overwrite it. If I save it with the same file name, yes. It's downloaded it, overwritten the one on the desktop. So then I open it. Once I open it in PowerPoint, much like Word and Excel, I can actually add comments. So if I choose a particular slide and I choose a particular um, placeholder like this one and I go to review again there's new comment much like Word and Excel and if I put a new comment I can say um, this slide layout looks messy and I can post that comment so same as um, Word and Excel you can show and hide the comments um, if I show the comments, I can click on a comment and I can reply to it. And again, I can delete it or resolve it. Um, so I'll just close the PowerPoint file, save yes. Oops, close that. Close it, save yes. And now I want to upload it. So I have nothing selected. If you have something selected, notice the upload button is not available. So I have nothing selected. Click the upload button, choose files. From the desktop, I want the pitch deck and I want to open it. It'll recognize there's already a file called pitch deck in my SharePoint site when it starts uploading. And ultimately, it will give me the opportunity to keep both or replace. 
So I'll wait for it to finish uploading and I want to replace it. So it's I've downloaded the file from my SharePoint site to my desktop. I've made a comment. I've saved the file and updated the desktop copy and then I've uploaded it and replaced the SharePoint copy. So the latest copy of the pitch deck is on my SharePoint site. So it is possible to add comments um, and make changes and download documents if you want to be able to work on a document and you're not going to necessarily have access to SharePoint or a good internet connection. Now it is possible to also add comments to documents that are non-Microsoft files um, within SharePoint. So anything that's not a Word document, OneNote, PowerPoint, Excel, maybe like this picture here, I'll choose it. I'll go into the Details pane, and in the Details pane I can see things like its name, its title, who it was assigned to, and its status. But if I choose More Details, then here is my ability to add a comment. And so I'm just questioning whether this is the latest copy of the Grow One image, question mark. And I'll post that particular comment or submit that comment. And so others can come along and reply to that comment. And again, they can delete the comment and reply to the comment. So you can add comments to non-Microsoft documents from within um, SharePoint.